Hi guys, I'm going to read you uh, Jeremiah 29. We're going to start, uh, I guess around 8, 29, 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams, which ye cause to be dreamed. For they shall prophesy falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, saith the Lord. For thus saith the Lord, that after seventy years I will accomplish at Babylon, I will visit you. And perform my good word towards you in causing you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me, and ye shall search for me with all your heart, and I will be found of you, saith the Lord. I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all nations. And from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord, I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Because ye have said, The Lord hath raised us up prophets in Babylon, knowing that thus saith the Lord, the King, Lord of the King, that sitteth upon the throne of David, and of all the people that dwelleth in this city, and of your brethren that are not gone forth with you into captivity. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and I will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten, they are so evil. I will persecute them with the sword, and with famine, and with pestilence, and will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth, to be a curse and an astonishment and a hissing and a reproach among all the nations whither I have driven them. Because they have not hearkened unto my word, saith the Lord, which I sent unto them by my servants the prophets, rising up early and sending them, but ye would not hear, saith the Lord. Hear ye therefore the word of the Lord, all ye captivity, whom I have sent from Jerusalem to Babylon. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, of Ahab, the son of Coliah, and Zedekiah, the son of Messiah, which prophesies a lie unto you in my name. Behold, I will deliver them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall slay them before you. All of them shall be taken up a curse by the all the captivity of Judah, which are in Babylon, saying, The Lord make thee like Zedekiah and like Ahab, in whom the king of Babylon roasted in the fire. Because they have committed villainy in Israel and have committed adultery with their neighbor's wives and have spoken lying words in my names, which I have not commanded them, even I know and am a witness saith the lord thus thou sh thus shalt thou also speak to shemaiah the nehemite saying thus speaketh the lord of hosts the god of israel saying because thou hast sent letters in thy name unto all the people that are at jerusalem and to zephaniah the son of messiah the priest and to all the priests saying the lord has made thee a priest instead of jedediah the priest that ye should be officers in the house of the Lord for every man that is mad and maketh himself a prophet thou that thou shouldest put him in prison and in the stocks now therefore why hast thou not reproved Jeremiah of Anathoth which maketh himself a prophet to you for therefore he sent unto us in Babylon saying this captivity is long build ye houses and dwell in them plant gardens, eat the fruit of them. And Zephaniah the priest read the letter in the ears of Jeremiah the prophet. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Send to all them 
of the captivity, saying, Thus saith the Lord concerning Shemaiah the Neelamite, Because that Shemaiah hath prophesied unto you, and I sent him not, and he caused you to trust in a lie. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will punish Shemaiah the Neelamite and his seed. He shall not have a man to dwell among this people, neither shall he behold the good that I will do for my people, saith the Lord, because he has taught rebellion against the Lord.